What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you some high level drilling. So what we're doing here, and the whole point of this is to take basically full power round kicks and come back with your own round kick. Only legs allowed, and we're not doing this Thai style where it's slow and we're taking our time. We're really blasting them in. You have to have shin pads on for this, otherwise the forearms are gonna get annihilated. There is three reasons in my mind to do this type of drilling. Number one, your forearms are gonna get conditioned. Even through the shin pads, your forearms, your biceps are getting very conditioned. You wanna be able to take these shots and make sure that if this happens in the fight without the shin pads, your arms don't break down. Number two, you're gonna to learn to base your weight properly so that when the guy kicks you full power, if you get knocked backwards, you learn very quick that your weight is not shifting correctly. When you do this time and time again, and your partner kicks you and you can stand your ground, you will get very, very good at this and it becomes super easy to block and come back with a hand counter. What we're doing is much more difficult. Reason number three for this drill is cardio. This is an exhausting drill. You will see me at the end just basically want to fall over. We're slowing down right now just because our legs are getting heavy. Remember, this is still week one for me in training camp and my cardio is not up there. So I still have lots of work to do, but a drill like this really helps. And basically what we're trying to do is be the last person to finish. So I finish there, I win that little exchange. Very similar to the Thai style, except we're just not catching. Here we go into round number two. For round number two, one person throws and throws and throws until the other guy counters. As soon as you counter, you continue on a non-stop attack until the partner or yourself breaks off that attack. This is just basically getting comfortable with shots coming at you and very important drilling to make sure that you don't just get caught in the shell unable to counter back. Now, in all honesty, this is not my drill. I came up with the first drill. This is the one that Siraj picked because we're doing four drills today and we're alternating back and forward. So it's a fantastic job by him to pick something. It's fast paced, but you can see that we're not going hard. Unlike the last drill where we were going almost full power on the kicks, now we're tapping and I'm watching through the gloves and you see me there get the counter off. Now I'm throwing, I keep throwing and I wait for Siraj to come back and land something. And even there, he touched me gently in the forehead, but that's fine because he's not going super hard. I'm gonna turn the volume up and let you guys watch the remainder of this round before we move on to round number three. And here we go, moving into round number three. On this one, we're setting up the low kick. As I throw the low kick over and over, I'm looking at my opponent's direction of checking. If he comes wide, like he's doing right now, I attack the inside of the leg. Siraj on this one again goes wide on the block, so I go to the inside of the leg. Now when he comes towards me, wide, take the inside. Now I'm going narrow. So now he has to come around and sweep me. This is a great drill to start learning how to exploit your partner's checks. We're going three for three, back and forward, setting up, making sure that we're recognizing as we throw a technique, what the vulnerabilities of the opponent are. And if you can do stuff like this 
over and over in drilling, you will start executing when you go to sparring sessions or even better, when you're in the fight. You're not just throwing mindlessly, you're really thinking and engaging the brain as you throw. That is exactly what we want. We want drills like this. The first two were a little faster. This one is calming the pace down. Again, I'm gonna leave you guys to watch the remainder, turn the volume up, and then we will move in to round number four. And here we go into our last round for today. What we're doing now is we're waiting for our partner to throw a kick and off the kick, we're supposed to counter as quick as we can. I've never done this drill before. This is again, one that Siraj picked. He throws a kick, I'm supposed to come back. That was bad there. We're a little slow right now. And it's just this new drill, trying to make sure that we're just being fast off those counters, not sluggish. If every time somebody kicks you, you come back and you hit them, you're gonna have a good chance of overwhelming them throughout the duration of the fight or the sparring match. When people are scared to start kicking because they know they're gonna get punched, they're gonna change up their style, which very often will benefit you. And a great reason to do this type of drilling is you get to work on nice, crisp technique, you get to work on your defense, and then Third, and most importantly for this, is getting those counters off. All this type of drilling is super important. You don't need to do exactly what I'm doing, but you're always welcome to just get together with a partner and copy this video exactly. But be creative, guys. Come up with your own drills. Try out things that are gonna suit your style. Siraj and I have each our own style, and we're picking our drills, or the drills that are our favorites. So the more creative you can be, the more you challenge the self, the more you work outside that box, which you're comfortable with, the better and better you will get. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, seeing us drill. We did some sparring, but I didn't film it, but I will be back with more sparring videos over the next couple of weeks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you have not already, join the channel and get subscribed. As always guys, train hard, and I will see you back here soon for another episode.